Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll be going to solve three very interesting problems based on integrator using operational amplifier. Before you see this video, I request you to go through my last video based on integrator using operational amplifier in which I have explained all the basic fundamentals based on integrator using operational amplifier. Before I solve these three questions, I want you to try all those questions first. Later you can check for the solution in this video itself. So let me show you those questions one by one. See this is first question. Freeze the video in between. This is second question. And this is third question. I hope you might have tried all those questions. Now I am going to solve first question over here. See in first question, we need to determine the useful range of frequency for practical integrator. See this is the practical integrator circuit for which we need to determine useful range of frequency. If you have seen my last video in which I have explained you frequency response of practical integrator. You see this is practical integrator for which I have explained you this frequency response. With this frequency response, I have explained that useful range of frequency that is happening from that is happening from 10 F A to F naught where F A that one can calculate as per 1 by 2 pi R F C F and this F naught that one can calculate as per 1 by 2 pi R C F. This F A that is a cutoff frequency happening because of feedback combination. See F A that is a cutoff frequency happening based on this feedback combination that is 1 by 2 pi R F C F. And this F naught that is a frequency which is happening when gain is equals to 1. So when gain is equals to 1 at that time frequency is 1 by 2 pi R C F where C F is this and R is this right. So useful range of frequency that is happening from 10 F A to F naught. So here, so here first of all I will explain you how to calculate F A. F A is cutoff frequency. So F A that is 1 by 2 pi R F C F. Let us substitute the values here. So here what is R F? R F that is 100 kilo ohm. So 100 into 10 to the power 3. And what is CF? CF is 10 nanofaraday. So 10 into nano means 10 to the power minus 9. You just solve this in calculator. You will be getting FA. Let me check what is my answer for FA. That is 0 0.1591 kilohertz. Now let us calculate F0. So F0 basic equation. F0 basic equation that is 1 divided by 2 pi r into c f let us substitute the values so here what is r c r is 1 kilo ohm kilo means 10 to the power 3 and c f that is 10 nano faraday so 10 into 10 to the power minus 9 you just solve this in calculator let me check what is my answer for this my answer is 15.91 kilohertz. So now we got the value of F A and F naught. So what is the useful range of frequency? Here useful range that is happening from this to this. Here we have 10 F A and here we have F naught. Right. This is what useful range of frequency. So let me note it down over here. So what is 10 F A? 10 F A that is this into 10. So now that will be 1.591 kilohertz and up to it can go up to F naught that is 15.91. So useful range of frequency that is this range 1.591 kilohertz to 15.91 kilohertz for given circuit. Right. Now let us solve second question. See with second question same circuit that we are using as we have used it for first question right so there is no question based on circuit now we need to understand what is the question right question is there based on what can be output if your input signal that is this so first you need to understand what is input see input is 2 sin 2 pi 4000 t 
So if you carefully observe here frequency of input that is 4000 D. Here frequency of input that is 4000. So 4000 means it is 4 kilohertz. So if input frequency that is 4 kilohertz, but obviously I have explained what is the range? Range is there from 1.5 to 15 kilohertz. So 4 kilohertz that comes in between this only, right? So you can say this input that can be given over here and output will be as per integration, right? So you can say frequency F that is equals to 4 kilohertz is applicable for integration. So as if this input that is applicable for integration, what should be my output? That output also I have explained in my last video. If you have seen that, you see output that will be minus of 1 by RCF integration V in DT. So output that will happen as per this integration process. Let me explain you how to have output based on given input. So here we will be using same equation for output calculation. V out that will be minus 1 by RCF integration V in DT. So minus 1 by RCF that I will keep as it is. Let us integrate this V in. So with this V in, this 2 is constant. So let us keep this 2 as it is. And inside sign, omega is 2 pi into 4000. So that we need to divide 2 pi into 4000. And with this sign, integration is minus cosine. So here, I will be writing minus cos. And here, omega is 2 pi into 4000 into t right so that is my that is my v out now all we need to do is we need to substitute values right so here see minus minus that is plus and in numerator we have two in denominator we have so many things so let us substitute it one by one r that is one kilo means 10 to the power 3 cf that is 10 nano so 10 into 10 to the power minus 9 then this 2 pi, then this 4000 and this into cos of 2 pi 4000 t, right. So you just need to solve this portion in calculator and using which let me check what is my answer. My answer over here that is 7.95, right, into cos, into cos 2 pi 4000 t. Right. You should be careful when you solve this in calculator. Right. My answer is this. So here our output that will be happening as per integration of this. Right. And that has to be this over here after integration. Right. Now let us solve third interesting question. See in third question we have same circuit as we have used it in question number one and question number two. Here, if you observe, we need to determine output signal. So here we have been given input signal in terms of waveform and we need to have output signal. See with integrator, I have explained that if you have input that is square wave, then output will be triangular wave. That even I have covered in my last video, you see, I have explained if you have square wave input, then your output will be triangular wave. So here, here I will be going to explain you what will be the values of this triangular waveform, right. So here you see in question what is given, in question it is given input signal is given by V in which is having frequency 10 kilohertz. So with this circuit I have explained useful range of frequency. What is that useful range of frequency that is happening from 1.5 kilohertz to 15 kilohertz. So 10 kilohertz that comes in this range only. So you can say here we can have integration process. This circuit can integrate 10 kilohertz signal, right? So if you have input signal which is having frequency 10 kilohertz, what is the time period for one cycle? So time period for one cycle, time period for one cycle that is 1 by f, 
calculating output by integrating input so in second problem also i have explained v out that is coming as per this integration equation so what i'll do is i'll be using same equation over here you see how here v out that is minus of 1 divided by r into cf integration v in dt now here see v in for 50 microsecond it is minus 2 so here what i'll do is i'll be substituting limits so limit is there from 0 to 50 microsecond 0 to 50 microsecond and this v in that is having value minus 2 dt right so for this much portion only i'll be calculating this ramp value for other portion automatically it is getting set right so here all we need to do is we need to substitute values so r is 1 kilo and cf that is 10 nanofaraday so here you see minus minus that is getting plus 2 is coming out r is r is how much 1 kilo so 10 to the power 3 cf is 10 nanofaraday 10 into 10 to the power minus 9 and integration of 1 that is t and limit is there from 0 to 50 microsecond right so here you see this 2 this 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 in denominator in numerator it will be 10 to the power 5 right and if you substitute limits 50 microsecond right so 50 into 10 to the power minus 6 right and minus 0 so here 50 into 2 that is 100 100 into 10 to the power minus 1 that will be 10 volt that will be 10 volt right and this 10 voltage this 10 voltage that is pick to pick 10 voltage so here let me note it down it is pick to pick 10 voltage so pick to pick 10 voltage means what signal will be varying from minus pi to plus 5 voltage signal will be varying from minus 5 to plus 5 voltage right so that is how one can solve this here output is 10 voltage pick to pick sometimes students are thinking like here we are having dc 10 voltage it is not dc 10 voltage it is a 10 voltage of ramp and that is happening from minus 2 plus pick to pick right so that is happening from minus 5 to plus 5 so that is how one can have ramp signal as per the explanation which I have given you over here. Still, if anything that you would like to share, please note it down in the comment section. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.